Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be the battle of the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer against the $8 Elf Putty Primer. Now, this has been all over the internet, and if any of you guys have watched my 2018 beauty favorites, you will see that this was my ride or die primer. So I absolutely love this, and I know this primer very well and how it works and how it looks on my skin when it's on. When I heard about the e.l.f. putty primer, I was so curious because the price difference on these is ridiculous. Now, we all know that Tatcha ingredients are usually very skin beneficial ingredients. Now, we all know that Tatcha is well known for their clean ingredients. So I'm gonna hop on Sephora real quick and I'm going to read you what Tatcha says about their product. Velvety priming balm of pressed silk that smooths and makes makeup last longer while keeping it out of skin, helping to prevent clogged pores and breakouts. So this soft layer creates a smooth poreless canvas to help her makeup lasts all day and to protect her skin underneath. So there are skin benefits in their ingredients and this comes with 0.7 fluid ounces or 20 grams. They do have a travel size at 0.24 for $20. Okay, so the e.l.f. putty primer, I'm going on the Ulta website, this claims, this perfecting poreless putty primer by e.l.f. Cosmetics creates a smooth skin and preps it. I'm gonna put the name of the ingredient up top because I know that I'm going to hack it. To moisturize and grip makeup for an all day wear. This velvety texture glides over the skin, smoothing imperfections for a poreless effect. Now it doesn't say anything about any benefits for skincare. Now this is 0.74 ounces. So believe it or not, this actually has a little bit more product than the Tatcha. That's kind of interesting considering the size, but this is a little deeper. Where as you can see here, looks deeper than what it is. And you can see that she is well loved. All right, so I have used the e.l.f. primer once already, but it was with a first impressions on a foundation. This video is actually gonna be in two parts. It is almost 10 o'clock at night on a Saturday. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be putting the e.l.f. on my right side and the Tasha on my left, and I'm gonna be giving you guys my first impressions. And then tomorrow, when I work my 24 hour shift, I'm going to do the application again, and then I'm actually going to videotape check-ins throughout the day so that you guys can see how it wears and if I see that the Tatcha side or the Elf side looks better after a full, we'll say we'll try to do a 12-hour wear test. All right, so let's get you guys a little bit closer and see what this does. Okay, now that you're all zoomed in, like I said, we're gonna do the e.l.f. on this side and Tatcha on this side. Let's get started. So I have the most texture right here and right here. So I'm not gonna put a ton because I know with the Tatcha I don't need a bunch. Okay, now that I have it on, you can see that it does give a little bit of a blurred effect. So this is the e.l.f., this is no makeup. Now we're gonna do the Tatcha side. Okay, now that we have both on, I'm just gonna take a quick look. Don't see much of a difference as of right now, but let's put on the foundation. Now 
that I have the foundation on, I'm just kind of making sure that I really press it in like I always do. So now that we have the foundation on, at first glance, it looks about the same right now. So not bad. I'm going to do a close up of what my face looks like right now. And then tomorrow I will do the same application. I will do a little clip of me putting on that foundation. But my first impression so far is I don't really see that much of a difference. So tomorrow I will reapply in the morning and I will go to work my 24 and like I said, I will do some check-ins throughout the day and we'll try to do at least a 12 hour wear test. Now I do work a 24, but I will definitely do at least a 12 hour wear test. I usually get up pretty early in the morning. So I will do timestamps to let you know and we will go from there. So I'm gonna do a quick close up and then I'll see you tomorrow for our wear test. I am finally on my way to work. So I really couldn't talk because the entire house is sleeping. I got up at 4.30 this morning to get all my stuff together for work. Today is Super Bowl Sunday and I am from New England. So of course I'm rooting for the Pats. I waited till last minute, got everything else done to do my makeup, figuring five minutes, boom, done. So I don't know what I was thinking, but the last time I used the retinol, I had no reaction to it, um, and I thought like I found the combo of moisturizer to put in it that would counteract all the dry patches or whatever. So this morning I woke up and I started to clean my face and it felt like it was kind of burning under my eyes. So I'm like, all right, well, I'll wash it off, it will be fine. Well, I applied the makeup and nothing would stick to under my eyes nothing so then I washed my face again and reapplied the makeup again 
and it wasn't as bad as the first time. And of course, I had to reapply the primers. I've got Elf on this side, Tatcha on this side. It was both going on both sides, so it's not the primer. So, <clears throat> it looks better than the first time. Just gonna have to avoid that under eye as far as reviewing it because I don't think that area is behaving to get a good review. The other thing I can do too is I can do a second day review for you guys tomorrow. Hopefully then my under eye won't be so pissed off. Alright, um, it is 625 I gotta be at work for seven, so I have to get to work. All right, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, all right, so it has been 12 and a half hours, 12 and a half. I actually wanted to do a check-in sooner, but didn't have time. Okay, so this is the Elf, this is the Tatcha. Now, like I said in, my previous video for some reason from the retinal treatment that I did caused a bunch of irritation and like nothing would stick no foundation no concealer so you can see there's a little breaking up over here but that's been there since I put on the foundation in here so we're just going to ignore that for right now so this side is the Tatcha side is the elf. Other than some of my dry patches kind of clinging to the foundation, I mean, which kind of makes the Tatcha side look a little bit better. Considering the fact that they're so similar, I mean, that's pretty good considering this is what eight dollars and this is fifty two dollars now obviously it all comes down to what you prefer to do you want the skin benefits to the Tatcha side versus you know or just the looks of the eight dollar primer so I mean I think that slightly the Tatcha side looks a little bit better my foundation is wore off my nose wore off over here and a little bit over here but and a little bit on my chin because I've been eating but I mean other than the dry patches kind of sticking through and a little bit of more pores here I mean the Tatcha if I'm being picky wins a little bit more other than that they pretty much look the same so yeah so I will probably do check in maybe in a few hours if it's not too busy because I am working my 24 so I'll get back to you guys but this is my 12 and a half hour check-in hey guys so I just realized editing my video for the elf versus the Tatcha for primers that I never did an outro so here it is. I gave you guys my final thoughts. I wasn't able to check in again after the 12 and a half hours because of course I got busy and I wasn't able to record a final check-in. But you did see the 12 hours of wear time. And like I said, that you know I felt as though they looked very similar. I thought that maybe the Tatcha side little bit looked a little bit better. But other than that, I mean the elf really did a good job so I just figured I would let you guys know please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you click that little notification bell so that you are notified every time that I upload thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye look that's a tongue twister